last night we cooked our dinner on this barbecue. It's a nice, dirty barbecue. So I came out and loaded up. So I was lighting it. I noticed down in this right hand corner you can kind of see a bunch of ashes. Because there's a nice little nest built in down there. And it started to catch on fire. I wasn't too worried about it. Then I started to hear some rustling. <laughs> and a little tiny squirrel was in there and he came up. He was able to crawl right down through there. He climbed up, jumped out, ran down, and took off. So we feel kind of bad for the squirrel that we burnt up as well. So Becca is going to give him an offering to kind of try and make peace with the squirrel. Okay, so I pulled out some nuts from my trail mix. I've got some almonds, some pumpkin seeds, and some walnuts. So hopefully the little squirrel will like these. And hopefully they're not going to blow away. It's a little windy. Probably should shut that. So we'll see if he comes back. He might not because we were so mean to him. But this is our little peace offering. What's the plan today? Um, so today we want to get the solo tube set and then okay. kind of backfilled and then just start building up to the height we're going to have to have, which is almost three feet on one side and like six inches on the other side. So we'll get it all knocked out. Okay, let's do it. So what I'm thinking is we'll lay out some strings, mark where we want the tubes, kind of line everything up. We have to figure out a 90 degree angle, make sure we get good 90s. In the corner, so then, yeah, and then lay out the tubes, get them back filled in, and then just start rocking and rolling. for something to cut the string. That's what I found. You found a pocket knife? Found a pocket knife. You would rather use pocket knife than my clippers that I found? Because yeah, what? This is my solution, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Well, pocket knife will fit in your pocket better. It's a little more portable and my big clippers. Let's set up our other line and we'll get them exactly parallel and then we'll determine where we want the 10, 11 foot lines to be. So this part is setting the parallel lines, and then how do we set the 90 degrees? I'm gonna use the three, four, five method. Three, four, five method? What's, what's the three, four, five method? Measure three feet, four feet, five feet. Okay. You'll just have to show me. So what's this part doing? We're gonna run, oh wait, I'm gonna guess. Okay. You're gonna do this one, and then one over by the other flag where we measured to, and then the crossing of the, the string is a 90 degree angle. Sort of, it will be, but we have to measure in order to get that angle. So it gets us close to a 90 degree angle. Yep. Hm. 
So I kind of figured it out. Sort of. Do I get any points for that? Half points? So grab a solar tube. Okay, I'm gonna place the first solar tube. Tube. And the Okay, so we've got most of these concrete forms set and leveled. We still have to put all the rocks around them, but my brain is not mechanical like this, and I know this is on a slope, and we used the laser level to level them all and make sure that they're all leveled, but that's, is the slope really that big? Holy moly. We used the laser level. Supposedly they're all level. I know it's on a slope, but... Hmm. We've just got two more at the bottom to do, and they look so much higher than the other side. But it is a slope. I don't know, it's not making sense in my brain. And it's probably just an optical illusion with the slope or something, but supposedly the tops are all level. From the side, it looks like these are way higher. But looking that direct, this direction, it looks... Yeah, looking from here, it seems pretty level. I guess they do look more level from this direction. Okay, so I'm going to check them all again against the laser level one more time, and you're doing what? I'm going to bring more gravel over. Okay, it's going to go grab more gravel. And we're going to start putting them around all the, all the tubes. Down below it looks level, but from right here it is messing with my mind. Weather report. Clear skies over there, not over there. Thunder's rolling. What did you say, it's not gonna stop us from working? 
it doesn't. It's a lot of rolling thunder though. Your water worked! Back at the cabin to make some lunch real quick. Surveying the storm clouds. You know, it looks a little misty off in that direction. I wonder if there's it's raining right there. Our squirrel offering is gone. However, I just ran into the person that kind of is over maintenance on these cabins and he just told me that he just brought us another propane tank. So maybe he cleared that off. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe the squirrels took it. So the saga continues. It did start raining. Um, I was gonna take the lunch back out to Cade at the lot real quick. He's maybe getting rained on right now. Um, fix the hat. And as I was backing up, um, apparently there was a tree stump that was cut down that I did not see in my backup cam, and I did not know it was there, and I backed right over the top of it, and I'm like high centered on it now. So I've used the ranch radios to call <laughs> around to the neighbors to see if anyone else around in the ranches out here um, can come help me get off of this tree stump because I can't do it by myself. I think I just need like push. Um, to get over it um, but right now my wheels are just spinning so I don't know or maybe they'll have to like tie their tie straps up to it or not I don't know this is not my department um, but luckily someone is being someone is very nice and they said they would be here in about 10 minutes so I really can't say enough good things about all the people that we have met since buying out here um, because people are really a community out here it seems like and people really look out for each other and help each other out and I think it's because we're all out here in the middle of nowhere and you have to have a community you just do so um, I'm glad I have a community to help me out here um, and I'm so grateful that someone is going to come and help get me off of this high centered tree stump also I just want to say to Cade I am so sorry I hope I didn't damage your truck Love you. Please forgive me. There's the tree stump. I can't go forward. My wheels just spin. There's the other view. I don't know if it would be better just to keep backing over the end of it. Sounds like someone's here to help me now. Okay, the guy is here and he's hooking me up to his winch. He's gonna try and pull me off the stump. I'm free! I got unstuck. This guy came, he was so nice. Um, he came with his little Jeep that has a winch on it and we tried to pull the winch. Um, he tried to pull me off with the winch and that didn't work. So then we had to go to plan B, which was we took his little jack that jacks the car up and we jacked the car up so that it was over the top of the stump. Um, and then we put a rock under the tire and then he pulled me forward with his winch and we were I was able to drive off of it that way. So thankfully, I'm so nice for, or so grateful for nice neighbors um, that he came out and would do that to help me. So um, as I was doing that, I just realized, <laughs> I mean, I needed to get off the stump anyway, but I realized I have another car here. I came up separately from Caden, remember? Because I had to rescue him with all those things at Home Depot. So. Technically, I could have gotten in my other car and driven back over there and then brought Kate back and we could have tried to unhook or get the truck unstuck, but I honestly did not think of that until the very end, so what a day. <laughs>
Okay, so today we thought we would measure how far we've plowed into the property um, for our driveway. So I have this handy dandy, hang on, let me turn this around. This handy dandy little rowing measuring thing. So I've just set it to zero. And now I'm gonna walk down our property. Yeah, we probably could have measured it with the car, but this is more fun. So, and it gives me something to do while Kate's off doing tractor work that I can't really help with. So, let's go. That thing measures in feet, right? Yeah. So it's 974 feet lengthwise. But I did the calculation on Google and it's only 0.18 of a mile or 0.18. You would expect what? I wouldn't expect it to be miles. Well, I thought it might be like half a mile. It's pretty long. It seems long. I don't know. It seems long to me. What would you have guessed it to be? A thousand feet is pretty good. That's about what it is, isn't it? Pretty close, yeah. Hmm. I just thought it was more, although that's like 0.18, almost. I'm not good at math, never mind. All right, we are gonna call it a day. Kate's just finishing up, compacting some of this road base that we've been putting down. As you can see, we've brought it up a foot or two to level it out with the stuff on the top. Holy but surely we're making progress.